Okay, I'm going to attempt to do a tutorial on making a a simple actually it's one of the most basic basic uh, pull ring fuse and this is just going to be the the upper fuse component which is basically all the mechanical parts so I already have a couple of videos on how to make primers etc etc so I might make another one segment on it but anyways so I'm just going to try to make something like this uh, UPMR3 type deal fuse and this is generally used for uh, trip wires but uh, you can still use it for a simple smoke grenade etc etc so to start off you get yourself a simple uh, two part pen so you can screw off the middle parts and then uh, disassemble in two parts I guess and uh, so you take that off and what I did is just dremel the top portion off right there and um, the length of the tube varies depending on how long your firing pin is and how long your how thick your spring firing pin spring is when it's compressed and such so I have all this pre-measured I guess for this certain specification so and for the firing pin there's numerous way of making it you can use a paper clip wrap it uh, and wrap paper around it and super glue it or for simplicity's sake I'm just using a, a wood a wooden dowel that's been carved out so you can see this upper portion is thin enough to accept the spring and this lower portion is just left at its original diameter so the spring will not clear it and of course this whole assembly has to fit in the main body and for the very tip of it I've drilled a hole using one of the smallest gauge um, drill bit I have and for the actual firing pin just using this little nail that I clipped off and I'm just gonna super glue it inside and looks about right I'm also gonna super glue some of these few spots for extra reinforcement set that aside, let it dry and for the fuse body I have this pre-made paper ring and what it essentially is is a, a plug so that spring wouldn't uh, shoot out from the top end this will prevent, this will clear the firing pin but will prevent the uh, firing pin spring from clearing it so so you can see that so what it should look like inside will be something like that oops that kind of deal okay so I'm just gonna glue this and also you might be a good idea to scratch up the surface contact surface of where you're going to glue just so that the glue will add heat better onto the surface and hopefully this will fit if not I'll just cut away more material mm, looks alright Make sure this still clears. A little tight, but uh, I guess I could just sand go and sandpaper the pin. But anyways, so that's pretty much it for the major components. All I have to do is uh, uh, preferably let this dry for another maybe 10 minutes or so. But and just gonna keep continuing on. 
I'm just gonna push this through. I need a pencil. And uh, mark a spot. Mark a line. Right there. And that I'm gonna drill a hole right there for the this uh the pin. I'm just gonna flatten out the surface a little bit so it's easier to drill. Ouch. Anyways. Holy crap. Uh that, that happened. That happens from time to time. Anyways. So you got the drill a uh, hole drill through it. And I'm like against I'm gonna super glue these holes just so that it won't split and such. And that looks if the camera will focus. That looks good enough. Alright. So the pin is just, you know, a stretch out paper clip with a ring and attached to a larger ring. And uh, I'm going to just assemble this together. Yeah, I am really bleeding. Oh well. That's life. Life sucks. Let's keep going here. And oh, excuse me. It's so hard to do this without my, you know, a dominant finger. It's not really a dominant. Okay, got that. I'm just gonna put a pin through it. There, if I can get it through. I think I got it. There you go. And there you have it. There's your pull pin fuse. You know, you have a primer and delay or whatever you have down here. And so you just basically pull the pin and the fire pin discharges.